Hi, I'm Pratish Bhava. I'm one of the musculoskeletal radiologists. As a musculoskeletal radiologist, I deal with the diseases and injuries of muscles, joints, soft tissues and bones. We are here to talk about the steroid injections in the different joints and uh, around tendons and bursa. We inject steroids in the joints to reduce inflammation. Inflammation is the major cause for pain and swelling and redness in the joints or anywhere else. The way we inject the steroids in different body parts is under the guidance of imaging which is ultrasound, x-rays and CT scan. The benefit of injection under imaging guidance is that we can see either live, uh, real time and ultrasound or we can see in incremental uh, positions of the needle tip where we are. So that imaging helps to safely achieve the location of the needle where we need to be. We can in essentially inject anywhere in the body. We can inject the shoulder joints, the shoulder beneath the acromioclavicular joint, we can inject elbows, wrist, hand, the hip joint, we can inject knees, ankles, the foot. In addition to all those joints, we can also inject in the back and the SI joints, which is the lower back. This is essentially an X-ray camera, which helps us guide to locate where we are in the body. After we uh, are in the joint, we'll inject two medicines. One of them is the steroid, which you are here for, and the other part is a local anesthetic agent, which is long-acting. The long-acting agent helps us in diagnosing if the pain is really coming from that part where we are injecting, the joint we are injecting. If you get relief from that long-acting local anesthetic in the joint, that helps us to diagnose that yes, the pain is coming from the joint. If it does not help, the pain might not be coming from the joint itself, it may be coming from some other part. Uh, the other medicine, the steroid, that helps to cool, calm down the joint, the inflammation, and that kicks in about three to five days. You just have to let us know if you are taking any steroid medications other than what, are, what we are injecting, so that if we need it, we can modify the dose and you let us know if you are diabetic so that we can guide you how to monitor your sugar. Sometimes the sugar can increase in the diabetic patients, especially if you are giving high doses of steroids. So after the treatment, your joint is going to feel numb and you have to avoid any strenuous activities for the day. Sometimes the steroids can cause a flare that can cause more pain in the next 24 to 36 hours. You can use ice, some compression and elevation of the joint to uh, make it more calm. So after that steroid kicks in 3 to 5 days, you'll have better benefit. You'll realize that there's more activity and uh, you can start the physiotherapy at that point. Uh, the, usually the steroids work for six weeks to six months. So depending on which body part is affected, you can get uh, injections every six weeks. Usually you do not require to come back after that. But if needed, we can inject after like three months. Uh, in a year, it's about three to four injections in each body part which we can inject. So this is our ultrasound room and this is the ultrasound machine and we can use this ultrasound probe to exactly focus where we need to go into the body and for the technique part we use a sterile ultrasound probe cover so that we avoid any kind of infections we can just cover up the probe with this sterile cover like this and we use a sterile jelly so that we prevent any kind of infections. So I want to show you how we focus the small body parts with ultrasound and we can use the real time needles to put the injections into the body parts like tendons. 
So I'm looking at the wrist. This is one of the areas where we can inject. So as you can see, I have focused one of the tendons in the wrist where we can inject if there is any inflammation or thickening in this region. So if we decide to get a uh, procedure done under CT scan, this is our CT scan machine. You'll be on this table and we utilize this machine to exactly go into the body part where we need to be. After the procedure, you might expect a phone call from our nurses. They can call you up to follow if you have any benefit from that injection or not, or if you need have any more concerns with that injection.